that was given by the Heavenly Father to his son. So, as a matter of fact, before you go there, give me um, Matthew 22, verse 9, and then you're, then you're going to go to the priest of prayer. See? Uh, this is a strict commandment, or a strict commandment. Eh? All right, this is Matthew 22, verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye can find, bid to the marriage. Right, so, so and, this, and this right here is the chief highway. You know, this is what one way street. You come in at the town and you exit the town, you use this you use this um this highway. So therefore it's a cheap highway. So the Lord gives us a straight commandment to go into the highway and bid as many as the fine to the one the marriage. The marriage, which is the joining of the elect, which is the bride, and the bridegroom, which is our Lord and Savior, the Hawashai, who be very ignorantly. Called Jesus Christ. Right. And uh, there's a lot more components with it also. Because it's not just prophesying, you have um, to do or to rear the righteous acts also. Um, having faith in our Lord and Savior. Because if if by hearing and it not mixed with faith, then this is where, where I get said now gonna make no sense to you because um and without faith is what? It's possible to please the most high. That's right. Um, bring the, the, the precept in um, Corinthians. Uh, this is 1 Corinthians um, 1 and verse, <clears throat> verse 22. Mm -hmm. For after that, in the wisdom of Yahweh, the world by wisdom know not Yahweh. Uh -huh. It pleased Yahweh by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Right, so it pleased the most high <laughs> by the foolishness Come on, now of preaching. Honestly, we can agree, it's our foolishness we do. But this is the requirement to prophesy, to, to teach, to prophesy, to preach. Same thing. This is the requirement that was given. So it says, He pleased ever the Father by the foolishness of preaching. Do what? What? To save them that believe. To, to save them that believe. Going back to the elect. Because the elect, as the scripture said, the, the election shall obtain it. So we are, we are chiefly dealing with the elect because at that day, at that time when the elect gets sealed, then all of it is going to break loose. Simple as that. So at this very moment, we are focused, you know, we're focusing in on the elect. You know, as the, the prophet Ezra said, the, um, the one that walked up to the whole entire Israel. And the, the angel, you wrote to him, said, don't worry about that gun, there's going to be punishment. Worry about your spirit. Worry about yourself and all oh, others like you and like-minded like you are going to be delivered. See? And it's going to take faith. It's going to take strong faith because we're living as, as, um, as I was telling um, a lady from Afghanistan yesterday that we're actually staring in the face of World War III. And she, she was giving me the history of what really take place in Afghanistan. And um, growing up, and her father was a key player in the. Where you call him? Where Taliban. Yeah? Taliban. No, not the Taliban. Before the Taliban. The Mo, like, Mo, 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 Ajim. Mo, yeah, Mohad. 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 She was, she was, she explained history, good. She said, um, when the group started, that was when she was born. Yeah. And she said, um, her father 
was a uh, almost something like a loyalty whether the, like the head of the group come to them and come to him and then go in a country because he has said the Russians them because remember the Russians them Russia was there first Russia was there and I destroyed the people because I said it she said Russia imposed for them languages in the school so for them for them um, the people in the Afghan supposed to start learning how to speak Russia the Russian language and all these things and that, that group got that name say oh no what are we doing this what about our sovereignty so yeah, America up finance and, America finance them you see, yeah, I, 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 from Afghanistan. Yeah. Bin Laden is a man from Saudi Arabia and a crazy CIA is a CIA agent, yeah, eh? Exactly. And, hey, we, we got your whole for history so the um, men are going to set up a reason. And she has to leave Afghanistan because too much things like that. The Taliban, them, all by watch football, them come and them are stolen people and all that. Yeah, because know. it corrupted men. The yeah, movement become corrupted when America um, get them to sway the way out of America America want them to sway. Because when America do them come and them finance the group, you know what I mean? Them, them get somebody to lead the group, yep. basically, um, to place the American it. ideology. Yes, yeah, yeah, some can sway them to use them as a, as a proxy. See, so the Taliban was a proxy for the American um, government, man, Can't. through the CIA. Which been, you know what I mean? Was a key so, yeah, Bin Laden, Bin Laden was a key player, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that's what the Americans them did. I always use some Saudi Arabian. In order for, for carry out them, them, them terrorist bullshit, man. See, because even ISIS, a lot of Saudi Arabian, ISIS with American train, Israeli and American train. You know what I mean? To do the bidding of America, man. See, hey, we know the shit on the east The scripture tells us, hey, look, man, we have to lift up the skirts. A Babylon, yeah? All I need is have to see. See, I'm very worried that she says she leave and head to Germany. And she stay in Germany. She, she says it's not like she really wants to be in Germany, like, but for uh, benefits and also a, a more comfort living there. Yeah. So I said to her, I said, you want to see that Germany is actually heading to a third world war? Yeah. And she said she, she can't see it. Why? She said, oh, basically it's what people perceive, that's what comes. So if we perceive positive things, then positive things are coming. I said, no, you're wrong, because actually what it is now, especially with the economy, no, no positive things are really like come, especially to the US economy because all these countries are the pilot are trading and are cut the US dollar out of the mix. So them have to go to watch when, when she she actually see the reality. Yeah. And she, her, her only question was, so what you gonna do about it man? What, what, what are we gonna do? Yeah? Say, yeah. We're gonna face yeah. it man. Yeah. Face it. We know what we are gonna do. Yeah. We are gonna do, do, do depend on our Lord and Savior, which is the our share, man. But the the healing enough gonna face that that tribulation man. You know what I mean? Because, hey, the people who are supposed to be in power, mm -hmm. not in power, man. So right. guess what? What you're going to suffer as Eden, see, is all because of that, man. Because uh, for some way or the other, you have support, see, the downfall of our nation, man. See, we don't see anybody out there advocating for our nation to be on top. You know what I mean? So the, 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 the very fact that we're on the bottom and you live in our society, and never try to do nothing about it, but to help perpetuate the light and the so-called white man. No, you have to face up what the Lord is going to bring on the planet. Man. Because I believe you are not seeing all of the activities you see transpire to the hands of the so-called white man. The Lord engineered, man. The Lord, the Hamabah, Hashem, Yahushai, engineer everything that is happening. It's all prophetic. It's all prophecy. We can't stop it. Apostle, we can't we can have talk about it now. A pastor tell me one time say the prophecies are conditional. You know what I mean? Got uh, my got mind to fully make up. Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna do something to change your mind. Yeah. It's not like that. Yeah. Everything is already set in stone. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there's no turning back. World War III is coming and there's no turning back. Yeah. A financial collapse is coming and there's no turning back. The new world order. See it? Well, we start, we start. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to kick off yeah, a certain way. 
see? And there's, and there's nobody to stop it but the Lord. And the Lord is going to stop it in our way that is not pleasing yeah. to all who ever wants to see the new world yeah. apart from the elect, man. Right. The nation of Israel, man. Because what is the Lord is, what the Lord is going to bring on this planet here, see? And nothing, see? To, um, to, the, to the enjoyment of anybody but the elect. Yeah. Yeah. The secret is another law and calamity when it comes, man. Right. Everybody else have a sign and say, wait for us every man with the hands up on them lines. Because the Lord is our hope, man. No, he does not have any hope apart from, look, hope that, see, the so called white man fall and the slavery, see, um, not that harsh like the so called white man. That's what all the hope you can have. You know what I mean? Which, we well, can't grant that. The so called white man punishment. I'm going to be more harsh than the Eden punishment. I'm not a part of Eden. Can hope for the thousand years to come to an end. That is the best hope. Let's start yet. They can hope that the thousand years end quickly, man. That's why they can hope for. Yeah? Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 27. Right. Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, the vision. That he that he see it is for many days to come. Right. And he prophesied yeah. of the times that are far off. Alright, you see all them things here, them things here are prophecy, man. The very fact that what people believe that look them things are never come to pass in our time. You know what people here, we people still at all the time. Say yo, hey. That don't come to the world, but no in our time. Somebody down the, you know, everybody are pushing on further down the line. You know what I mean? And you have men in, 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 in Israel. Pushing it down the line. That kind of man that say, oh, they bring up kids that say, oh, these are the future prophets. That means they push the, the dear Lord down the line, man. Right. Nigga, I think the most are raised by his brothers here. For no reason. For no reason at all. Worldwide. Come on, no, man. Come on. And coupled with all the things that were um, hey, back in the 2000s. Year 2000, the things that we are transferred now, we never did transfer then. Yeah, right. Where this man about fuse biometrics, basically if you tag everybody on the planet, that never did happen. Back in the year 1999, that never did happen. Man. 1999, Russia and America never did add ads the way they had ads today. China never did threaten America to be the next economic power imminently. Back in the 1999, so we have all them things here for David to prove. No, yeah. in the 2018, so all suffice to say that all these prophecies that mention World War III and the mark of the beast is in our time, man. We are witnessing the things that have happened. Yep. What else? Every talk now in mainstream media, talk is look. If this army is World War III, if this army is World War III, when since you hear mainstream media speak like that, oh, if we do this with Russia, it's going to cause World War III. If Israel do this, it possibly cause World War III. And that's coming to the media now. Because um, over there, come more infinite. Yeah, over there in Syria, you know what I mean? Over there in Syria, you have to listen to the spirit of the argument that will take place and know what time we're in there. You see me? Yeah, watch. It's showing the time over in The spirit of what? The conversation, what takes place, I show the time over in If a spiritual, you can realize the conversations where I, I'm getting raised upon an international level. You know what I mean? Then you understand the times. You know what I mean? Because you have Israel now, seeing Africa face with the fuck now for this try and Russian weapon You know what I mean? Or if you take the back seat, and we know that look, it don't come to a point Israel and America not gonna take the back seat, man. Because them them um, them country rely upon whatsoever action them take. See? War is not optional this time. It is not optional. Yeah. 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 It's not optional, man. But Ellen, straight away, a man can delay it on two weeks, on three weeks, on four months, on a year or two. 